Hey folks, it's James JT at the movies here again. Not in my uh, my movie space, but in my uh, my front room. And uh, I just thought I've uh, obviously we're all in lockdown at the moment, or uh, only going out for uh, essential work. And um, obviously the, the movie stores are closed, and most places that we buy our movies from aren't, aren't readily stocking them, as as is quite rightly the case. However, uh, with the likes of uh, the internet and good old Amazon. Um, I've still been able to uh, to get a hold of a, a few movies, so I thought I'd do a little bit of a pickup video, um, if you can call it that. I suppose it's more of a delivery video, isn't it? Um, it's going to be short and sweet because there aren't many titles here. These are things that have turned up over the last few weeks, um, so I'm just going to jump right into it. So, um, so this is uh, Papillon, and uh, it's starring uh, Steve McQueen and Dustin Hoffman. Um, and it's uh, basically an escaping from a uh, from a prison, and uh, I don't know much about it. It was recommended to me by um, by a colleague uh, of mine that I work with, uh, apparently, because there's a there's a film coming out very soon to uh, to home media with Daniel Craig uh, that apparently follows a similar sort of story. Um, the conversation turned to that in a in a meeting at work, and I thought, um, do you know what? I pick it up. I found it for a fiver on Amazon. And thought, why not? So the next one I picked up, this is, um, I suppose it's kind of a film noir really, it's certainly from that sort of era, uh, starring uh, Humphrey Bogart and uh, I think, is it Lauren Bacall? Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's Lauren Bacall. Uh, again, one that I've not seen, but while I've got a lot more free time on my hands, one that I would uh, I'd quite like to, uh, to watch, and that is The Big Sleep. So, uh, this next one, I'm really looking forward to seeing this. I'm um, a huge superhero fan, as you probably uh, noticed on this channel, if you've seen the fact that I've done a, an in-depth review on The Dark Knight, and um, at the moment, myself and, uh, and Laura are, are doing a... Well, we have done a, an MCU marathon from beginning to end, and the vlogs are coming out on a weekly basis for that. Love my superheroes, um, and was really, really excited to check out this DC Elseworlds adventure, and that is uh, super Superman Red Sun. Basically, what happens um, if Superman's ship would have crashed into uh, to Russia rather than into uh, into the USA? And it's got uh, reimaginings of all the all the characters in there: Lex Luthor, Wonder Woman, Batman, Lois Lane, the works. I'm really looking forward to seeing this. It's got really good reviews, so I've heard. Next one, my friend, uh, again, a chap that I work with recommended this to me, um, and I picked it up on uh, on Amazon, and. It's from the uh, the team that uh, that made Avengers Endgame. Uh, the producers, uh, the Russo brothers, have had something to do with this. And um, let's have a look. Who's the uh, the guy who directed it? It's directed by a chap called Brian Kirk. Um, story by uh, Adam Mervis, and then uh, obviously uh, produced by uh, Anthony and Joe Russo. And, uh, and that is uh, Chadwick Boseman in Twenty One Bridges. Again, sort of was sold on this one by the fact that it was, um, you know, had the people from Endgame heavily involved, and obviously has uh, Chadwick Boseman, who's in the MCU, uh, in it as well. Looking forward to checking that out. Looks like a pretty decent action flick. These next two, um, these last two, um, are I'm really excited to watch all of these. So, uh, in fact, I'll show show them the other way around. I talked in mine and Laura's self-isolation uh, movie marathon video about one of the films from this set, and I, and I really wanted to just talk about it a little bit more uh, in detail. This is George A. Romero's um, Dead collection, if you like. It's got Night of the Living Dead, the original Dawn of the Dead, and Day of the Dead. Released from so. um, from Arrow Video. It's a DVD release. The, the Blu-ray is a lot harder to get a hold of. Uh, I actually had separately Day of the Dead and Night of the Living Dead already, but had not been able to get a hold of a copy of the original Dawn of the Dead for love no money. Anyway, one night searching on Amazon a few weeks ago and uh, and managed to find this box set. It was fifteen pounds for that, or fourteen ninety nine, uh, and it's absolutely fantastic. So they they've all three been restored uh, from the uh, I believe it's from the original film negatives, and they, even though it's DVD. The picture quality is still absolutely fantastic for a DVD. It comes with a collector's edition booklet. There are audio commentaries on each film. Uh, with George Romero, Tom Savini. And uh, there's a few other little documentary bits on there as well. And 
yeah, it's it's probably a bit more bare bones than a Blu-ray release would be. And I know that some of the boutique labels are actually going to be putting out this trilogy. I think is it Second Sight are doing a Dawn of the Dead. Uh, Criterion's done Night of the Living Dead, and I can't remember which label did Day of the Dead, but there are more in-depth versions out there. But if you just wanted something to whet your appetite and to have a really good sort of box set edition of this fantastic trilogy, I'd really recommend this. Uh, it's got reversible artwork, as all Arrow titles do, and I'm just really impressed with it, to be fair, um, for you know something I'm not going to watch all the time. I'm not too bothered about it being, you know, whether it's Blu-ray, DVD or not, um, and this absolutely... Uh, satisfied what I was looking for out of, a, out of a collection really really would recommend this so the last title sort of follows on from that which is why I, why I saved it till last this one just arrived this week uh, it's a later George A. Romero film something I've got into um, are his, his zombie films in probably the last year or so um, girlfriend's dad's quite big on them and, and, and by extension of that so is Laura uh, and even though we've been together years, it's not really something that we've ever watched together. And zombie films haven't historically been my my sort of cup of tea. But anyway, we've watched uh, we watched Day of the Dead together as a family, and and you know, real family movie that, and that, um, and, and really enjoyed it. And we watched a few others, and I sort of that's what sort of turned me on to it. Anyway, I picked up um, Land of the Dead that he'd done, which was a later sequel, uh, but had not been able to get a hold of this one, which is Diary of the Dead. Uh, so I've not seen it. You can see it's still in its uh, in its cellophane. Um, but it's his first independent zombie film, uh, George A. Romero's that is, uh, in over two decades. I think this is the first one since um, since Day of the Dead in the 80s. Um, it's a return to ground zero. Um, students making a horror movie and they um, they discover, obviously, uh, zombies in the woods. So it's probably a bit of a reimagining because the original is obviously set in the, in the 60s. So it's, uh, I don't think there's any real continuity with these... Um, uh, with these films, the first three maybe look to be set in this. You know, they follow different characters in the same world. But I think by the time we get to this, this is a bit of a bit of a reboot slash prequel. Either way, it's from George Romero. Uh, it's got good reviews, and I'm I'm looking forward to checking it out. So there we are, folks. A very short and sweet Blu-ray and DVD update, mostly DVD this time. Um, just remember, at this moment in time, whilst everything's uh, all up in the air in the world, uh, stay safe look after yourselves and, and each other and I will see you again soon. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.